It was Scotland's turn to say goodbye to the Queen today. Her four children escorted their mother's coffin to St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. And they watched as the 500 year old Scottish crown was placed on the Queen's flag draped casket before hundreds of thousands lined up to pay their respects. News Nation's co correspondent Katie Corrado is in Windsor with more on today's events. King Charles III addressed lawmakers from both houses of parliament in London before flying to Edinburgh to take part in the Queen's funeral processional to St. Giles Cathedral. Hundreds of lawmakers crowded into the thousand year old Westminster Hall, rich in pageantry and the oldest part of the parliamentary complex. Paying tribute to his mother, the King said that while very young, she pledged herself to serve the country and her people. She set an example of selfless duty, which, with God's help, and your counsels, I am resolved faithfully to follow. Following what's known as the condolence meeting, the King flew to Edinburgh to accompany his late mother's coffin through the historic heart of the Scottish capital to a cathedral where it will remain for 24 hours. Charles and his wife Camilla, the Queen Consort, arrived at the royal family's official residence in Edinburgh, the Palace of Holyrood House. Queen Elizabeth II's coffin lay overnight in the throne room. On their way, they passed large crowds of people who were packed behind metal barriers along the Royal Mile, the road between Holyrood House and St. Giles Cathedral. Onlookers clapped and waved as the King's limousine passed. The public will be allowed to visit the cathedral to pay their last respects. The new King and the Queen Consort also took a moment to greet well-wishers outside the palace. House, Charles took part in the ceremony of key, where the king was given the ceremonial key to the city of Edinburgh. The king, Princess Anne, along with Prince Edward and Andrew, led a procession to honor the late monarch as the queen's coffin was transported from Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral. And there are strict security guidelines ahead of Monday's funeral. Heads of state are being asked to fly in commercially if they can because of all of the air traffic that is being expected. Also, a lot of roads are going to be closed, and so heads of state also will not be able to travel in their usual cars. They will have to be bused in coach buses, secured coach buses, of course, to Westminster. Uh, President Biden and First Lady, though, of course, we expect them to still be flying in on Air Force One. Marnie. All right, Katie, live from Windsor tonight. So many details to work through. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.